Good morning. Here again at 6.30. It's Friday though, so happy Friday everybody. Um, I am, I know this is weird to say, but I am ready for the weekend. Um, but I'm going to give some people some time to join. Um, but for today, we are only going to need our mat and some very light hand weights. Um, just like last week, I would suggest threes or twos. Um, because we're going to do some arm stuff and incorporate it in a few of our ab movements as well. Um, today is going to be a little bit different um, in that we are going to add in some cardio burst in between our um, Pilates work on the mat. Um, it shouldn't be intimidating. I'm going to start with the foundational move and then I'm going to add um, a progression. So uh, you can stay at the foundation move and you'll still get a little bit of a heart rate boost or you can move um, to the progression as well. Uh, alrighty, so let's get started. We are going to start on our mat and we're going to start sitting. And you can take your weights, place it all to the side, but make sure um, one is handy because um, we're going to need it in the very beginning. So sitting up nice and tall, grow tall through the top of your head, anchor your sits bones into your mat, squeeze your inner thighs together, pull your obliques in. I want you to take an inhale, lengthen your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take a forward bend over your legs. Hold it there. Feel a nice stretch and a nice release in your hamstrings, flex those toes back toward you, and then slowly rebuild and respect the spine, sitting up nice and tall. Take those arms, reach them up towards the ceiling again, and then take that forward bend once again, holding it there, feeling a nice release through the back body, and then slowly rebuild the spine once again. Last time, lift those arms up, and then release them down, holding it here and breathing. Now, I want you to hold this forward bend and we're gonna roll all the way back, holding your C-curve until you can't anymore, and then reach those arms back, lower that head down. Now, tuck that chin towards your chest, slowly roll all the way up, reach those arms forward. This time, I want you to come up to your seated, extend up, reach those arms up towards the ceiling, bend those elbows down, open the chest up towards the ceiling, reach those arms back up, take your forward bend again down to your feet, and then slowly roll all the way back down, head hits, arms reach. We got that two more times, so you're going to tuck your chin towards your chest, roll up, reach forward for those feet. Lift up to your seated, reaching the arms straight up towards the ceiling. Now bend those elbows, open your chest up towards the ceiling. Reach up once again. Take your forward bend down to your feet. And then really hold that C curve until you can't anymore. Slowly come all the way back. Extend those arms out. Last time, tuck that chin towards the chest. Slowly coming up. Reach toward those feet. Come up to your seated position. Bring those arms down. Open that chest. Reach those arms up. And this time I want you to stay seated and just bring your arms out to a T position. Bring those shoulders down away from the ears. Now we're going to add some rotation here. So I want you to rotate to one side. Pulse two times. Come back center. Rotate to the opposite side. Pulse two times and center and rotate and pulse and center rotate pulse two times and center one more each side rotate and pulse and center and rotate and pulse and center nice job now would you just lower those arms down and we're going to get into our first c 
series. So if you missed it, we're going to do some short cardio bursts today, but nothing to be intimidated of. There's going to be a pro foundation and a progression. The first one is going to be lying on our back. I want you to lie all the way down. Bring your legs into your tabletop position. You're not completely imprinted, so there's that slight arch in your back, um, like uh, the natural curvature of your spine, just like our neutral pelvis, neutral spine. We're going to start with some supine high knees. So arms are down, head is rested. This is our foundation. We're just going to pull one knee in towards the chest as one leg extends and switch. A little bit faster than our normal single leg um, stretch because we were trying to get our heart rate up. So we're just pulling our knees in towards our chest and breathing, getting that heart rate up. Our foundational move is here with the head rested and the arms rested. Keep going and breathing. Nice work. Still thinking about all of our connections here. So pull the rib cage in, pull the navel in towards the spine. Still think about sinking that tailbone into the mat. Still think about keeping those shoulders down away from the ears. Keep going. Now our next progression here is to curl up and bring our hands behind our head. So if you want to take it, go for it. Curl up. Gaze is at your thighs or your knees. Hands are behind your head. Elbows are wide. And you're breathing. You got it. Really extend those legs out. Almost there, you guys. We got one more progression. And then we're going to get into our workout. Breathing here. Now the next progression is to keep your head lifted. And you're just going to extend those arms out toward your feet. Keep those arms hovering. Remove that, I guess you can say, not prop, but that thing that was kind of helping you hold your head up. Remove it here and breathe. Always have the option here, if you're getting a little tired, to lower the head, lower those arms. Almost there, you guys. Got this. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Rock side to side. Heart rate is elevated just a little bit. Beautiful. First combination we're going to do today is an abs and glutes series. We're going to start with the glutes so that we can give our abs a little rest. So I want you to bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips and find external rotation here. Your feet aren't far away from you. They're close to your booty because we're getting into some bridges. Arms rested down on your side. Externally rotate. Toes are down. Heels are down. You're going to take a deep inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips up. Hold it at the top. Pull the navel in to keep it out of your low back and bring it into your glutes and your hamstring. Make sure your rib cage isn't popping out. And then slowly lower down. Exhale, lift, press up. Inhale, lower. Again, think about pressing to your, through your heels to lift up. And lower, squeeze your booty at the top. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, breathing here. Exhale, lift, warming up the backs of those legs. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's lift for four. Hold it at the top and then lower down. Three. And lower. Last two. And lower. On your last one, lift it up. Hold it here. Now from here, you're going to knock your knees in together to touch. Touch them in and then open them out. And in. Keep those hips lifted. Pull the knees in and out. They may not touch, and that's fine. Just think about internally rotating in those hips, then externally rotating. Breathing here. You guys got this. Let's go for four. Three. Last two. And on your last one, I want you to keep those knees in. Hold them in. Now, use your hips, use your pelvis, pulse up and up and up and up. Let's pulse up for four, three, two, and one. Hold it up there. Open those knees out and then lower those hips down. Nice work. From here.
here, stay in that external rotation. I want you to just lift your toes off of the mat so your heels are digging in towards the mat. Bring those shoulders down away from the ears. Anchor those shoulders into your mat. Now, same thing here. Lift straight up and then lower down. Dig those heels in and press up and lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Nice job. Check in on your form here. Make sure everything is connected. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the hamstrings as you lift. Three more here. Last two. On your last one, you're staying lifted. Now this time, instead of your knees coming in, they're going to come out. So you want to think about pressing the knees out. Come back to that starting position. Exhale, press and release. Exhale, press and release. Breathing here. You guys got this. And press and release. Let's go for four. Three. Booty should be feeling it. Last two. On your last one, hold it out there. Hold it out there. Now, same thing in the beginning. Pulse those hips up and up. And squeeze. Every time you lift, squeeze that booty. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Bring the knees in slightly. And then lower all the way back down. Nice work. All righty. Give a booty a break. We're going to go to an app series. If you have your weights, grab onto one of them. If you don't have them, it's okay. You can do everything that we're doing without weights. I want you to extend both legs up towards the ceiling and flex your feet. You're going to reach your weights up or your hands. If you don't have the weights, just clasp your hands together like in a prayer position. So extend that weight. Flex those toes back toward you. Take a deep inhale here. I want you to look at your toes, not the ceiling. So look at your toes. Exhale, curl up, reach that weight up. Inhale, lower. The reason I want you to look at your toes is I don't want you to strain through your neck. Use your core, use your breath to lift up, reach that weight. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Breathing here. Let's lift for four, three, last two. On your last one, hold it up there. Tiny pulses up and up and up. Breathing here and up for four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Nice job. Same thing, but we're going to go to one side. So choose your side. You're going to rotate towards that side. Take a deep inhale. Think about reaching for the pinky toe on this side. Exhale, curl up and reach. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up and reach. And lower. Anchor your tailbone into that mat. And breathe. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Look at where you're reaching your weight to, to keep it out of your neck. Curl up for four, three, use your breath, last two, last one, hold it up there, tiny pulses, up, and up, and up, and up, for four, three, two, and one, come down, whew, all right, you got another side. So opposite side, again, you're thinking about reaching for the pinky toe. Exhale, reach, and lower. Look at that weight. Keep it out of your neck. You guys got this. Feel that oblique here. And reach. Three more. Reach. Last two. Last one, you know where we're going. Hold it there, tiny pulses. Lift, and lift, and lift. And lift for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest it down. Beautiful. Let's sit the weight down for a second. Get another set of bridges before we um, finish up here. So I want you to take one ankle over the opposite knee. Coming into a figure four position through your legs. Arms rested down on your side. Anchor those shoulders into your mat. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, lift into your bridge. Hold it at the top. Hips are lifted. You're pressing through the heel of um, the leg that your ankle is resting on. And then lower down. Curl up and lift. And lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale.
inhale, lower. Breathing here and lower. You guys got this. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Four more. Three. Last two. On your last one, let's hold it there. Now, I want you to pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Keep this hip lifted. Now, the leg that's in the figure four, I want you to extend it up towards the ceiling. Tap it back down. Extend. Hold that external rotation. Extend. And down. Extend. And down. Four more for four. You can do it. Three. Point that toe. Last two. On your last one, keep it extended. Hold it there. Pulse up. For eight. Seven. Do that hip. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it up there. Bring that foot back to your knee. And then lower all the way back down. <sighs> all right. Other side. So your feet are hip distance apart here. They're not wider than your hip. Take that opposite leg or opposite ankle, rest it over that knee. Arms anchored into your mat. Starting out with just our lifts. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Press down to lift up. Breathing here. Nice work. Almost there. And lift. Nice job. Four more for four. Three. Last two. On your last one, you're holding it up there. Pulsing up for eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Keep that hip lifted. Extend that leg up. Hold that external rotation. Point the toe. Lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Breathing here. You guys got this. Lift and lower. And lift and lower. Two more. Last one. Hold it there. Tiny pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring that ankle back to your knee. And then slowly lower back down. Beautiful work. All right. Grab onto that weight one more time. One more set of abs. And then we're going to get into another cardio series. So I want you to extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Point those toes. Reach that weight up. Anchor those elbow or shoulders into the mat to start. Just to keep those shoulders down away from the ears. From here, instead of reaching up towards our toes, we're going to reach to the outer hip. So you're going to curl up. Reach outside your hip. Look at that weight. Come back to your center. Now curl up, reach through center. As you reach through center, open your legs out wide. And then close them, lower down. Now rotate over to the opposite hip. Come back center. Curl up through center. Close. And rotate. Center. Curl up and reach. And close. Rotate to the opposite side. Come back down. Curl up and reach. And close. And a rotate. And down. And a reach. And close. And a rotate. And down. And a reach. And close. You guys got this. Think about reaching to the outside of your hip. Curling up using your breath, not your neck. Think about bringing your rib cage to your hips. Nice work. Curl one side. Center, through center, and close. You guys got this. Almost there. And over. And reach one more time. Coming over to one side. Center, through, and down. Other side. Now hold it center. So your legs are open. Your arms are reaching forward. Tiny pulses for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest it down. Close those legs. Bend those knees. Ah, good job. 
Okay, bring that weight off to the side for a second. Just bring your arms down to your side. Just lift those hips just one more time just to feel a nice release. And then slowly lower back down. Nice job. Extend those arms behind you, legs out in front of you. Tuck the chin towards the chest and slowly roll all the way up to your forward bend. Reaching towards those toes. And let's come up. We're going to do a standing series for our next cardio breath. So we started with our high knees. We're going to come standing in the center of our mat for our lateral lunge series. So I want you to pull those ribs in. Hands are coming to a prayer position. The foundational move here is just going to be a step out to a lateral lunge. Feet are parallel. You're thinking about sending your tailbone back, keeping your chest lifted, and then step back in. Stay on that same side. Step out. Squat down or lunge down. And pull it in. And out. And in. Breathing here. Getting that heart rate up. Trying to keep it up through our entire workout today. Let's step out for four, and in, three, and in, send that tailbone back, last two, keep that chest lifted, and one, coming back in, other side, so you're going to step out, keep your chest lifted, come in, and out, and lift, driving off that heel of the leg that's stepping out, and in, four more here for four, before we add our progression, Three, last two, and one, coming in. So you can stay with that foundational move, or if you want to add on, you are going to add a little knee lift. So as you come out, or as you come back in, instead of stepping in, you're going to lift your knee up into like a flamingo or a passe in ballet. Arms are going to come out to your T, and then you're going to come back to that side. And lift and lower. Again, you can stay with that step in. Breathing here. You guys got this. Let's go for four. Three. Last two. And one. Sorry, step back in. Other side. Step out to that lunge. Lift up. And lower. And lift. Breathing here. You can do it. I believe in you. Four more for four. Three. Last two. And one. Step it in. One more progression. We're always going to have a foundation in two progressions. So instead of just stepping in, you have the option to add a jump as you come in. So you're going to step out to your lunge. Instead of just stepping in, jump and lunge and jump again you can stay with the other two you don't have to add the jump especially if you got knee stuff going on out and lift and out and lift four more you guys got this breathe last two and one and jump or if you have neighbors below you you probably shouldn't be jumping Next side, you're going to lower it down, and lift, and lower, and lift, breathing here, you guys got this, four more, three, last two, and last one, <sighs> nice work, hope your heart rate is elevated, mine sure is, so, we're going to come back down to the mat. This time, I'm going to take both of your weights. Just bring them in front of you on your mat. I want you to come to a four-point kneeling position. Bring those shoulders down away from your ears. You're going to lower your toes down so you're not on the balls of your feet. So flatten those feet. Come into that plantar flexion. You're going to extend one leg out behind you. Point that toe. Square off those hips towards your mat. From here, I want you to take a deep inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now keep your hips squared off. So if you need to, internally rotate that hip slightly so it's not turned out. Make sure your hands, elbows, and shoulders are in line. Make sure your knees and your hips are in line. Still connect through your core here. Don't let it kind of fall out. Keep that connection. Let's lift for four. Three, 
last two. On your last one, hold it up there. Now, flex the foot, bend the knee. Now make sure your knee is not dropping here, it's staying right up in line with your hip, and then point the toe straight in the leg. Flex your foot, bend your knee, come into a 90 degree angle, point the toe, extend the leg. Flex, pull it in, little hamstring curl, point and extend. Flex and in, point and extend. Keep that hip lifted, keep that knee right in line with that hip. Breathing here. Let's go for three, and extend, and two, and extend on your last one, hold it in there. Now tap your knee down to your mat, keeping that nice 90 degree angle, and then a little straight back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Every time you lift that leg, think about kicking your heel through the ceiling, and lift. Let's go four more here. You guys got this three, last two, and last one, hold it here. Now, I want you to pulse that heel up towards the ceiling for eight, seven, six, you're feeling it through that stabilizing leg, two, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, extend that leg, find external rotation here. Now pull the knee to the outside of your elbow, extend that leg back. Out, feel that oblique crunch. And out, and extend, almost there you guys. Let's go for four, three, last two. On your last one, you're gonna extend that leg, hold it there, tiny pulses up for five, or six, sorry, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, lower it down. Sit back on those heels just for a second. Shake side to side. Before we get the other side, we're gonna come into an upper body series. So if you have your weights, grab them. If you have access to like canned goods or water bottles and you wanna use those, those are great as well. You can do everything by just marking the movement. Um, we're gonna get into an arm series. So I want you to start by sitting on your heels. Take your weights into your hands and bring them up in line with your shoulders. Bring those shoulders down away from the ears. Now, if this is too much on your knees, because we're going to be going up and down, stay either seated like this or just stay lifted. If it's too much to go up and down, you have that option. So your arms are extended out in line with your shoulders. You're going to power up, lift, come into a chest expansion. So reach those weights behind you. Lower the hips down. Bring your arms back in line with your shoulders. Exhale, lift. Squeeze and lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Let's lift for four and lower. Three. Think about squeezing those triceps in the back. Last two. And last one. Hold it up there. Now, you have two options here. The more challenging option is to kind of hover your booty over your heels. The next option is just to come all the way down. But I'm gonna hover, I'm gonna anchor forward slightly, bend my elbows in towards my side. You're gonna extend it out for a tricep extension, pull it in, extend. Keep those elbows lifted and squeezing in towards the sides. Breathing here. Squeeze those triceps at the back. Let's go for four, three, Last two, on your last one, hold it there, tiny pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, open and close, out to the side and close towards the midline, keep the hip, the weight in line with your hips or higher, and breathe, you guys got this, for four, three, Last two, last one, hold it in, tiny pulses in, and in, and in, and in, for four, three, two, and one, hold it here, rotate those palms up, last thing, circles, whatever direction you choose, you guys got this, for four, three, two, and one, and reverse, opposite direction, 
Woo, I'm feeling the burn. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest it down. Woo, I felt that. All right, you don't have to flip around. I'm going to flip around just so you can see me. If you do flip around, take your weights with you. Let's get another arm series. But we're going to come back and get the leg on the other side. So coming back to your four-point kneel. Again, your feet are in that plantar flexion, so don't come onto the balls of your feet. Extend that opposite leg out. Point that toe. Keep that hip square towards the mat. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Again, checking in with your body. Making sure you have the proper alignment through your wrists, elbows, and shoulders. You're growing tall through the top of your head. You're pulling your obliques in. You're keeping this hip squared off towards the mat. Let's lift up for four, three, last two, last one, hold it there. Now bend the knee, flex the foot, keep that knee right at the line with your hip, and straighten, and flex, and straighten, and flex, pull it in, little hamstring, pull, you guys got this, and flex, and straighten. Let's go for four, three, last two, last one, hold it in, then I tap the knee down to the mat, exhale, lift that heel straight back up towards the ceiling. Think about kicking through that ceiling, squeezing the area where the glutes and the hamstring meet, and lift, you guys got this, four more, three, two, on your last one, keep it lifted, hold it there, tiny pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, straighten the leg, now find your external rotation, pull that knee to the outside of the elbow, and straighten it back, feel that oblique crunch, breathing here, and in, you guys got this, let's go for four, breathing, Three, last two, last one, hold it out there, tiny pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, rest it down, sit back on those heels just for a second, shake those hips side to side, all right, one more arm series, so this time we're paying attention to our shoulders and our biceps. Starting in that same position, arms extended out in front of you, palms are facing in. You're going to lift up, hammer curl, bring your, your arms to two nice 90 degree angles, and then reach back down. Hammer curl up, and lower, and up, and lower, breathing here, hammer curl in, and lower it down. You guys got this. And lower. Three more. Last two. On your last one, hold it in. Nice 90 degree angles. Press up. And up. And up. And up. For four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Open out. I'm going to turn to you. And close. And open. And close. And open and close, and open, and close, for four, whoo, guys, shoulders are burning, last two, last one, hold it here, now reach up, and pull down, reach up, and down, when you're coming down, think about gliding those shoulders down your back, you guys got this, squeeze those shoulder blades, and up, and down, two more, Last one, reach and down, hold it down there, pulse it down, squeeze those shoulder blades in, and in, and in, for four, three, two, and one, last thing, reach those weights down to your side, your palms are shining forward, lateral raise, reach up, and lower down, exhale, reach, inhale, lower, nice work, you're almost there. For four, three, last two. On your last one, hold it up there. You guys got the pulse it up and up. Almost there. Up and up. For four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest it down. Beautiful work, you guys. We're done with those weights today.
today. You can place them all to the side. We're gonna hop up for one final cardio burst. So, we're gonna get into a squat series here. We're gonna start with our feet parallel hip distance apart. Our hands are coming to our hips. I want you to roll those shoulders down away from the ears. Beautiful. Now I want you to think about sitting into a squat. And when you come up, tap one foot out to the side. Sit into that other squat and tap. And down and tap. Now speed it up. Down, tap, down, tap. Breathing here. This is our foundation. You guys got this. Keep that chest lifted. Keep those shoulders stacked on top of those hips. Down and tap and down and tap and down and tap and down and tap. Let's go for four. Three. Last two. And one. Nice job. Adding on. You can stay there or you're going to come for the progression. You're going to start with your feet in the center. And actually, I'm going to find a little slight external rotation for me. You're going to step out to one side, come down to your squat, step back to center. And then step to that opposite side. And down. So I'm in an external rotation, coming into a second position or a sumo squat. And I'm breathing. Nice job. Think about squeezing those inner thighs to pull you in. And down. And lift. You guys got this. Keep that chest lifted. Sink that tailbone towards the mat. Four more each side. Last three. Getting that heart rate up again. Last two. And last one. Coming in. Alrighty, we got one more progression and it's gonna be a jump. So again, you can start, stay with that tap, you can stay with the step outs or you can come for the jump. If you're coming from the jump, your feet are gonna start parallel. You're gonna jump out to your second position, jump back in, and out, and in. So if you take our cardio classes, this is a little bit like some of our jump board work. And out, and in. So I want you to think about landing toe ball heel each time. And breathing here. You guys got this. Almost there. Let's go for four. Three. Last two. And last one. Nice job. Jump it in. Good work, you guys. Alrighty, final series before we stretch. We're going to come back down to our mat. And we're going to come into a plank and extension series. So, two options for your plank. Well, actually, no. I want everyone to be an extended arm plank. So, we're going to come to a four-point kneel. Come to the balls of your feet. Step one leg out. Step the other leg out. Come into your plank. Check yourself out. Make sure you have a nice long line from your ears to your shoulders to your hips, your knees, your ankles. Pull your obliques in. Pull that rib cage in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings. Bring those shoulders down away from your ears. And hold it here. Make sure your joints are stacked. You're growing tall through the top of your head. So you're not down like here looking at your feet. Look in between those hands. And breathe. Now I want you to lift your hips up, come to your downward dog. And then lower back down to your plank. Exhale, lift those hips up, downward dog and lower back down to your plank. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Heart rate is elevated here. And a lower. Let's go for four. And lower. Three. And lower. Last two. And lower. Last one. Lower down to your plank and hold for eight. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. With the tailbone, come back to that downward dog just for a second. Feel a nice release. Hold it here. Nice break through your shoulders. Nice work. Come back to your plank and hold. You can keep that static hold. Or if you want to progress with me, we're going to step one foot out to the side. Come back center. Other foot out to the side. 
and center. Out and center and out and center. A little abduction, outer hip, outer thigh. Breathing here. Shoulders are on fire. You guys got this. Let's go for a four. Three. Last two. You guys can do it. Last one. Come back center. Hold. Let the tailbone come to that downward dog. Breathing here. We got one more plank and then we're getting into our extension. Press those heels towards the mat. Now come back out to your plank, hold it here. Same thing that we were doing in our four point kneeling work, we're gonna pull the knee to the outside of the elbow. Come back center. Feel that oblique. Whew. Breathing here. And out, and center, and out, and center. Three more each side. Last two. You guys have got this. Last one. Come back center and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees. Sit back into your child's pose this time. Reach those arms forward. Nice work. Coming forward. We're going to end with our extension. I always try to do extension in my classes because we sit way too much and we need to strengthen our backs. So, we're gonna lie down. Your legs are coming as wide as the mat. One hand is coming on top of the other. You're gonna rest your forehead on your hands. From here, I want you to keep the lower body anchored. Anchor your hips into the mat. Anchor those thighs into the mat. And then just lift up through your mid back, your thoracic spine. So you're gonna lift up, come to your extension, and then lower down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Breathing here, and lift, and lower. And lift, and lower. Four more for four, three, last two, and last one. Lower it back down. If you haven't noticed, everything has a little bit of a progression today. So adding on, or for the most part, everything did. Adding on, you can stay with what we were just doing. If you want to have a little bit of more of a challenge, you're going to lift up, hold it there. You're going to open one arm out, look back at it. So reach it behind toward your feet. Feel that rotation. Come back center and lower down. Now lift up, go to the other side, reset arm back, look back at that hand. Come back center and lower down. Exhale, lift and rotate and center and down. And lift and rotate and center and down. Lift it up on that exhale. Lift up from the thoracic spine, that mid back. One more each side, lift and rotate and center and down. Last one, lift and rotate and center and down, rest it down. Nice work. One more thing and then we're stretching it out. My favorite thing to do, my swims. So you're gonna extend those arms out in front of you. Head is rested to start. We're gonna start with just the lower and lifting of the body. So both the upper body and the lower body is lifting. Exhale, lift and hover, lift those thighs, lift that chest and lower. Exhale, lift and hover. And lower, breathing here. And lift. And lower, you guys got this. And lift. And lower, four more. For four, reach those fingertips up to the horizon. Three. Last two. Last one, hold it up there. Going for our swim to end us today. Pull out a kicking opposite shoulder and hip. Lifting at the same time. Growing tall to the top of your head and breathing here for eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there you guys, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Nice work you guys. 
I want you to press into a four point kneel and we're gonna stretch down here on the mat today. So, wrist, elbows, shoulders in line, knees in line with the hips. I'm gonna start with the cat cow here. So, I want you to tuck your chin towards your chest, scoop through the belly on that exhale, ground through the spine, finding that angry cat. Feel a nice release through our back after all that extension work. And then I want you to arch the back, lift the chest, lift the chin, come into that cow. Exhale, drop the chin, Scoop through the belly, round through the spine. And then arch the back, lift the chest, lift the chin. Breathing here. And arch the back, two more here. Exhale, scoop. And arch, last one. Scoop it in. And arch and lift. Nice job, come to your neutral pelvis with your spine. I want you to step one foot forward, coming to a lunge position. Now before you even lift your chest, I want you to press into the hip of the knee that's still on the mat, press it forward. And then I want you to reach your arms up, come into a stretch. And try to find extension, so if you can reach your arms behind you, feel a nice stretch through your abs, feel a nice stretch through this quad and through this hip. And from here, I want you to pull those elbows down, like in the beginning of class, Open that back, or open that chest. Then reach those arms back up towards the ceiling, and take a forward bend down to those feet. And let's get the other side. So step that foot back, other foot's coming forward. Before you even lift your chest, press into this hip, feel that stretch, and then lift those arms, lift the chest. Find that extension if it's available to you. Reach those arms back behind you, press that hip forward. From here, pull those elbows in toward your side. Open up that chest. Reach those arms up. Take a forward bend down. Bend, bring that foot back. Now I want you to bring your toes together, your knees apart. Reach those arms forward. Come into your child's pose. Drop that head towards the mat. Now I want you to take one arm, thread it under the other. Look towards that hand that you threaded under and press your shoulders into the mat. We worked our shoulders a lot today, so let's give them some love. If you need a little bit more, you're gonna take the arm that's extended in front, wrap it around so you try to reach to the opposite thigh and lift that shoulder up, open it up as much as you can and breathe. Carefully unravel from that, bringing that arm forward first, and then coming, bring the other arm through, and let's get the other side. So reach the opposite arm under, press your shoulder into the mat, hang out there for a second. Again, if you want that extra stretch, bring that opposite hand around to the opposite thigh, and open your shoulder up towards the ceiling as much as you possibly can. Carefully unravel from that, bring that arm forward, and then bring the other arm. And then slowly roll up. One last thing to stretch out our glutes, we're just gonna lie on our back. Just like in our bridge work, bring one ankle over the opposite knee. This time, reach behind the, op the leg that your ankle is rested on and pull the leg in toward your chest. Feel a nice stretch through the glutes and the hamstrings. If you need a little bit more, I want you to press into the knee of the leg that is rested on top of the other leg. So really press that knee out. Feel that extra stretch. And then slowly lower your foot down and switch, get the other side. So grabbing behind the thigh of the leg that the ankle is rested on and pulling both legs in towards your chest. And then pressing through the knee of the leg that's rested. So opening that hip even more. And then lowering that foot down, extending both legs out. Reach those arms behind you. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin towards your chest. Look at that belly. Slowly roll all the way up. Coming to that forward bend, just like in the beginning of class, holding it here and breathing. Feeling a 
nice stretch through those hamstrings, through those calves, flex those feet back toward you. And then slowly release your hands and round up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to lift. Nice work today, you guys. I was sweating, I don't know about you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day, bye.